36 Southern Rhodesian lads spend 10 days in the Bundu on an expedition organized by the school's Exploration Society. Making their base the Chipinda Pools on the Lundi River, they split into groups for different forms of scientific research. The idea was to foster self-reliance and accurate knowledge, and the lads became enthusiastic. The geologists chipped rocks, while the entomologists were more interested in what lay underneath them. With temperatures hereabouts hitting the 105 mark, it's not surprising that the shady, cool undersides of rocks yielded a prolific and varied harvest. They visited a native village peopled by Shangans, where they bartered for unusual examples of beadwork to be sent to the Bulawayo Museum. Life is quiet here, though an elephant tail displayed by the chief proved that there are moments of excitement. On all activities, the schoolboys took accurate notes and sometimes made sketches. This village specializes in the making of Malala wine from the stumps of wild palm trees. It's a potent concoction and this seems like tasting the stuff the dangerous way. One party traveled 90 miles to the remote area near the junction of the Lundi and Sabi rivers. This is really wild country and rifles had to be carried for protection. It's an area that abounds in bird life of all kinds. The ornithologists scaled a giant baobab tree where they ringed a newly hatched bird and procured a rare egg. The riverbanks were a positive bonanza for several types of budding scientists. They couldn't get at them quick enough. Botanists, entomologists, biologists and hydrobiologists, they started fishing like a flock of hungry cormorants. What they dug up may be muck to us, but it was fascinating to them. But then, one man's algae is another man's allergy. To a moron like me, water is either clean or dirty. But they bottled it, tested its alkalinity, and viewed it with the same pleasure I might get from what the butler saw. Back in camp, the trophies began to mount up. Rare birds were preserved and stuffed to be added to the collection of the school's Exploration Society or the Bulawayo Museum. Science was certainly on the march and the number of prisoners captured rose steadily. This was no haphazard collection. Every item was identified, indexed and carefully packed. Apart from providing an absorbing holiday, the expedition added tremendously to the boys' knowledge and aided government scientists and museums. But the star turn of the collection, a baby buck, will almost certainly become somebody's pet. So let's skip his Latin name and call him Cuddles. <laughs>